If you love air shows but can't recall the names of any of the pilots, even the one with the middle initial, go ahead and click that thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Also, leave some feedback or questions in the comments section. Thanks for checking out another installment in my play-by-play -play series where I explain and analyze a single air show maneuver from my point of view as a pilot. In this episode, I'm talking about how I taxi my pit special, which is a tailwheel airplane, and do the donut right in front of the crowd line where the media is positioned. Let's take a look at how the crowd sees it, then I'll be back to break it down and walk through the helmet cam footage. Now watch this. You dance in the sky with a pit special, snapping, torquing, tumbling, and rolling, then pull off a flawless wheel landing. There's only one thing left to do. Time to taxi on over to the photo pit and do some donuts, wave at the cameras and flash your pearly whites at the crowd, knowing that as soon as the next act goes up, it will be forgotten. Pretty cool, right? Most tailwheel planes, and the pits in particular, have horrendously bad forward visibility, so you have to taxi with a technique called S-turning. This requires generous use of the rudder pedals, which you can see here are connected by cables to the rudder, which in turn is connected to the tailwheel by springs and chains. The technique is to move the nose from side to side just enough to see in front of the plane and where I'm going. When I'm ready to spin in place, like this clip by my hanger, I simply stomp a rudder pedal into the direction I want to turn all the way to the floor, then pivot my foot forward onto the top part of the pedal where the brake is for the main wheel on that side. This turns the tail wheel, then unlocks it to its casters free as seen here. This causes the plane to spin around in a donut Depending on the show, I might use smoke or not. The Blue Angels don't want us using smoke near their planes since the residue makes oily droplets on their canopies. One other thing to keep in mind, the canopy on these two seat pits can't be opened while the engine is running. You might be wondering why not just taxi up to the crowd line, kill the engine, throw open the canopy and stand up in the cockpit to wave. The reason is simple. No one should ever try and hot start a Lycoming engine in front of a crowd. The results could be embarrassing. Now let's take a look at the play-by-play -play from my helmet cam. After landing on runway 12 and taxiing off the intersection at show center, I'm heading towards the crowd line and photo pit to wave at the crowd and let the media get a good look at me. First thing you notice is there's no view of anything in front of the plane, which is why I have to S-turn to see where I'm going. You notice the elevator is fully up, which helps keep the tail down. That is part of taxiing in a tailwheel plane. Here's how the announcer explains it to the crowd. Spencer bringing the aircraft into show center. Now you'll notice he's swerving the aircraft as he drives. No, he was not up late last night. He can't see over the nose of the aircraft as you look at the way he's sitting back on there. So they swerve left and right, look out the side of the aircraft to make sure they're not going to run in, into anything. Pretty standard on most tailwheel aircraft. Roll up on the crowd line and must respect the FAA rule against turning props within 50 feet of a person. And since those photographers and the FAA inspectors are leaning against that fence, this is the time to exercise maximum situational awareness. As I get ready to start my donut on the ground, you can see my left hand bump the throttle, I kick full right rudder, then switch with my right hand that was holding the stick back. Now I can give a maximum performance wave and big toothy smile to the crowd, really show my appreciation. The plane continues to turn, you can see my hands switch again while I keep the stick back. This is really important to keep that tail down while the engine is running above idle speed. As I complete the donut maneuver, my right hand is back on the stick and left hand on the throttle. Kick the tail straight and taxi away. I hope you enjoyed seeing and hearing my point of view on the final portion of an air show performance. Go ahead and leave feedback and questions in the comments section below. Ciao for now.